Hi, Life Path Number One. How are you all doing? This is Healing Hands. Um, guys, I am in um, a morning right now. I lost my mom about a week ago. I wasn't going to do your monthly readings. I wasn't going to do anybody's monthly readings, not for the zodiac signs, not for, you know, um, the life path numbers. But I kept hearing Spirit tell me life, life goes on. And I'm like, okay, life goes on. Does it even matter what's going on in my life? Like I'm emotionally down, I guess, um, because I was trying to fight, you know, this physical aspect of us being human. In, in, I do understand when people die, they do, um, you know, they are in transition. They do end up becoming our spirit guides, our ancestors. They, some of them get assigned as our spirit team, um, as part of our spirit team. But some of them will do, do go back to the reincarnation chamber as... Um, as um you know to, to come back to this airplane especially if they have some unresolved karma that needs to be you know uh, worked at or uh, worked on so um i do understand that but because i'm also human you know i've been dealing with you know trying to fight all that depression trying to fight all that feeling of why how and you know not making sense out of it like one minute somebody's here the next minute they're not but, you know, um, like I said, spirit kept, you know, nudging me. You have to keep going. Pick yourself up and keep going. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to try to um, do your reading now. And I hope that this will resonate with somebody or for somebody, you know. Um, I hope this will resonate for you. I, I guess there are messages that need to come out for some of you. So I'm going to look at... <sighs> Wow, okay. So, life path number one. This, you know, your overarching message here talking about launching your journey. It says, I am intrepid. I am an intrepid traveler sailing forth into the universe. And something here talking about hearing messages from spirit. It says, I'm a clear channel for messages from spirit. Okay. So, some of you are, um, some of you senses have been heightened during this period. You're becoming highly intuitive. You, some of you are getting messages from spirits. Some of you are um, seeing signs. Some of you are seeing synchronicities. And, um, you know, um, spirit is obviously trying to communicate to some of you. Some of you may be, some of you are seeing feathers. If you haven't, maybe you will just walk by and just see some kind of feather on the floor, on the ground. And spirit is just telling you to believe because, you know, your spirit guides or your ancestors or even loved ones who have passed on are trying to send you messages. They're trying to send you love and healing energies and asking you to have faith that you can um, descend their messages, that you will catch the messages when they come. All right. And, um, you know, telling you that you at this time are a vibrational match for all the messages that spirit is trying to communicate to you. And the universe wants you to know that you're being courageous. And it doesn't mean that you're not afraid, but it means that in spite of fear and hesitation, that you take action anyway. And it's all right you know, to fall down sometimes. But the Spirit is also telling you, just don't stay down forever, all right? Do not allow yourself to be limited by the beliefs of other people or even um, your own beliefs, all right? Face your fears, go beyond the boundaries of your self-imposed ba barriers or limitations. And Spirit is telling you, live passionately and boldly. Now, the question you should ask yourself, life part number one is, what could, you know, this mean for me, all right? about confronting my own fears how can i overcome fears and how can i step into my courage what is the ultimate outcome if i conquer all the hesitations and everything that's been holding me back so that's definitely food for thought for some of you um maybe some of you are not even sure if you know the signs or synchronicities that you're seeing even make any sense all right some of you may be you know noticing some kind of coincidences and not really understanding what it's all about at this time now there's a second message here telling you to launch your journey all right and it's simply telling you that um some of you may have when i see the journey card I'm also thinking about physical journey aside from um, spiritual journey, all right? Some of you obviously are on a spiritual path and it's just telling you um, get ready that you're about to embark on a journey and this could be an inner journey, all right? A, 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 a journey to a distant land as well, maybe physical traveling for some of you. Some of you might be um, thinking about, you know, um, 
go traveling to go visit some a loved a loved one all right now i'm getting also some of somebody may have lost somebody and uh, maybe going to visit somebody who's lost somebody because we got that energy about um you know messages from your loved ones all right um so some of you may feel the need to travel at this time because your your bags you know are, can be packed easily and um um some of you feel like you need to be with somebody you need to you know um be there for somebody but whatever the case may be it's like launching your journey okay this can also be the universe telling you um you know asking you where is it that you've always wanted to be or wanted to go and what have you always wanted to do all right and telling you this is the time to make it happen for yourself asking you to launch yourself forward and explore that world around you uh, and telling you before any journey whether it's inner or your outward journey it's, it's good for you to take time to prepare for the adventure and um for you to understand where you are and where you want to go in your life journey okay are you truly where you you've always dreamed that you will be is there um is there a direction that you feel like you should take you should make uh you have you remained stagnant in pursuing your dreams or pursuing your goals or everything that you've ever felt that you needed to accomplish in your life is there any stagnation you need to start thinking about that all right and asking yourself how do you get to your destination at this point what steps should you take what steps are necessary in order to you know make this huge leap from where you're at now to where you intend to go there is a lot a call for you to reflect you know a sober reflection have a clear vision but also be prepared for the honest expected all right in case there's a detour on the way because with journey comes detour right um spirit is just telling you allow the journey to bring you as much joy as the destination itself so questions that you need to ask yourself at this time life path number one is how can i prepare for this journey ahead what is the greatest journey that i could embark upon in my life and what destination will be the most fulfilling what is it that i'm i'm hoping to accomplish the most in my life at this time and start you know aligning yourself so it looks like there has to be some sort of self-reflection that is needed at this time with regards to your life purpose your life journey are you aligning yourself with your dreams your goals are you working towards your goals are you really um taking all the necessary steps towards aligning yourself with where you need to be if you're not spirit is just asking you to rethink and realign yourself okay get back on track okay now let's see the feelings i'm trying to pick this energy is the mixed emotions for how you're truly deeply feeling about a particular situation in your life at the moment it could be a love situation a love triangle it could be a relationship situation work situation friendship it doesn't matter what it is it could be family dynamic but this is me trying to pick up the those deep hidden shadow energy that you you're not sharing with anybody those subconscious energy that you or the people or the person that you're dealing with may be exuding at this time now life part number one only you will know which of these feelings is yours and which is not all right so anyone that is not yours is the energy of the person or the people that you are dealing with all right and hey all of them might end up not being any of your emotions but i guarantee you you we will pick up some of how you are truly feeling that you're not sharing with anybody at this time there's somebody here who feels free or wants to feel free or feels like they've been caged they need to you know and th this goes back to that whole launching your journey or traveling or wanting to travel or something but there's something somebody here who is liberated or feeling liberated or wants to feel liberated independent or unburdened by a situation okay there's something here about somebody who's also resisting this horse is not allowing itself to be pulled in the direction that it needs to go all right so it's being rebellious defensive and closed off so some of you are not also getting all the signs and synchronicities or even paying attention attention to the coincidences that you are seeing right in front of you all right right um and spirit is like you know um you need to stop the resistance you have to be open-minded in order to receive okay um realign yourself and start moving forward on your path okay now there's an energy here about compassionate so some of you are empathetic and you're caring and you're sympathetic or there's somebody that you feel like you're nurturing or you need to nurture um take care of something um some of you may also be animal lovers not everybody is but you know um some of you may be um tending to somebody who's sick at the moment because we did get a, a strong message about 
you know, somebody who's departed, maybe somebody, um, that either you or somebody you know, um, just lost someone and they, you know, they were very compassionate toward that person caring. And, um, you know, maybe there's some energy here where you're feeling very compassionate about whoever this is, or maybe that person feeling this towards you. All right. Life path number one. There's something about desperate here. And it says somebody is, and I'm getting also the you know energy of clinginess. Somebody who is frantic, out of control, and in need. Somebody who's coming across as very needy. Is it you? Is it the person you're dealing with? Life path number one. Only you would know. I do not know what this is all about. But there's a an energy of desperation here for somebody who is like trying to do something out of desperation. Not because they want to do it. You know, they're not doing it out of love, but they're doing something out of desperation here okay making decisions out of desperation there's also an energy of somebody who is disappointed in somebody or disappointed in something or you know thinking about letting something go or has let something go or will be letting something go and you know it's a feeling of disillusionment uh feeling of defeat and somebody letting someone down here is something about, you know, someone who wants to be feel peaceful in their energy, who wants serenity. And it comes, it bears to mind also the energy about, you know, traveling and going away. And, you know, somebody looks like maybe they also want to be centered, all right, need to be centered or work on their um, sanity and looking for a place of peace. Or it might be you or the person you're dealing with who is actually feeling very peaceful. Maybe there's a situation that you've, you know, let go of or that you removed yourself from. And, you know, because you're no longer in this energy um, of desperation, all right? You're no longer fighting or resisting whatever this is. And now you are free as a bird, as a dove, you, you know, and, and, and you know, you're, you've let this whole situation go. You're now at peace you feel peace genuinely inside of you all right but there's something here about lonely lonely feeling lonely or loneliness so maybe whoever it, this is if you've let them go maybe you're still missing them and you're feeling you're actually feeling um the void that they've created in your life it might be your friend it might be your uh a, a lover it might be a, a family member it might be a co-worker it might be a job situation but there's a feeling here of being feeling isolated alienated or friendless all right some of you may actually enjoy it because maybe alienating yourself brings you some sort of peace um so whatever this case may be just it's a, a feeling that you know the energy that we're picking up here some on is also feeling like you know the, the pressure cooker like they are stressed out like they're about to blow the lid i just finished doing the reading for life part number i think seven and they got the pressure cooker and about somebody about to blow off the lid or something all right and we're getting that energy also here about somebody who's stressed maybe stressed from you know responsibilities maybe bills maybe from day to day you know things happening or maybe somebody in your energy who is just stressing you the f out okay but it's a, a um a feeling if a feeling of you know tenseness or feeling strained or like you're under pressure okay some someone here also is feeling uh, panicky about something. There's a situation that somebody is panicking about. Um, I don't know what this is for some of you, but it's a, a feeling of of uh, be, you know uh, alarmed, feeling alarmed or anxious, or somebody in a flight or fight mode. All right, somebody who is obviously not settled in their emotion. Okay, and also something here about somebody who's a proud, proud, who's a proud parent, or whose parents are proud of them, or who is um actually aligning with their journey or have started launching or has launched their journey or you know have decided to take a step in the right direction and obviously because they are being divinely guided they are listening to spirit and they are aligning themselves with their life purpose they are moving in a direction that um spirit is proud of you also and it's talking about a, a path that is going to lead to victory accomplishment and masterfulness all right or mastery so some of you have engaged in a, a a venture that is going to lead to some kind of mastery that definitely will lead you to a place of um, accomplishment that you will be proud of okay so life path number um one let's pick up on the um or, or any other situations that you are dealing with at this time in your energy okay 
when it comes to like situations or relationship or situationships that you're probably dealing with or maybe dealing with or maybe past energy but it looks like maybe somebody in the past or present or future triggered you or will be triggering you and there's something here talking about um maybe you start seeing things you know that will remind you of somebody all right or remind you of a toxic situation or remind you of uh, um, a, a relationship that you've let go or maybe just remind you give you fun memories of somebody okay and there's something here about anxiety scared panicky this is another energy that we're getting we got that panicky kind of energy earlier on um and you know there's a double energy of panicking maybe i hope somebody did not get in trouble or will not be getting in trouble but there's something about anxiety here all right and somebody and this usually to me i feel like it's some kind of mental um a mental place that somebody's put themselves in all right um then of course we have threatened embarrassed and appearances somebody you know um who's now who feels threatened in a particular situation and i don't know why i'm getting the message about landlord and tenants and it doesn't have to be everybody because i know it's not everybody who has a landlord some people own their houses but some people um feel threatened and some people might feel embarrassed maybe there's a truth that is coming out maybe there's something that you're finally coming to terms with maybe there was a way that you treated somebody or somebody treat, treated you that you're embarrassed about okay now there's something here about irreconcilable differences divorce final so it looks like there's a separation of some sort or um letting go of some sort from you know somebody in your something in your environment it could be work for some of you maybe some of you may be walking away from a job some may be walking away from a relationship or some of you may have done this already okay um it, it may, maybe a relationship where you feel Feel threatened which caused you a lot of anxiety where you got triggered a lot like every time you looked as if everything you're doing is not right okay so there was a lot of triggering um also attached to maybe names or you know um when i see names i'm like somebody throwing out names like you know um status quo and talking about cars maybe there were cars involved maybe there were places that you visited with this person all right but there's something here about either past present or future energy about the, you know not able to agree or see eye to eye with somebody okay and it looks like there's some gonna be something that will be finalized so some of you have finalized something in your life and moved on now there's an energy here about synchronicity now what did we say earlier on about you know getting messages hearing messages from spirit and you know we've gotten a couple messages around that either you're paying attention or you're not okay some of you like i said earlier on may be seeing um coincidences and not and just thinking they are just pure coincidences all right i'm uh, paying attention to feathers like birds and flowers and coins and you know just things in your environment even darkening of the cloud it could be a channel of message from your spirit guides paying attention also to numbers that you're seeing um even one 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 two 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 three 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 synchronistic numbers that spirit is um showing to you those messages might be coming in that form anytime you see a repeated number i always tell people go type it in and see put in if, if you see 888 for example 888 you know so you wake up it's 888 eight, eight, whatever you know 833 or 813 or you and the numbers keep repeating themselves and you're walking down and the number plates on the car is the same number you know you will know because your soul your spirit once you know, recognize once you know all right you are weakened to the power of synchronicity you will learn how to decipher and how to follow your intuition to go type in that number and put an angel number on google and it will give you your message and you'll be shocked how accurate this message is it will resonate with whatever situation that is currently happening for you at that time in your life life part number one um let me pull your advice from spirit at this time your spirit message so we have four of them and i'm not gonna be taking any of the four i just want one holy spirit Life part number four, like I said, please remember to like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe, exchange your energy with me, share with your friends, um, whatever, read the um, description box below the video also. Now, spirit message, your you know advice from spirit, your spirit team or your angel guides is telling you take a moment. It says stop. Now is not the time to rush into decision about you know that you're about to make and it says before this important decision is made 
take a moment to pause and quiet your mind so that you can ask your soul for guidance before you act or move forward. So it looks like some of you all need to obviously terribly, you know, um, align with spirit. It looks like there's, there's, there are messages that are meant to come through that are not coming through for some of you. All right. Until you align yourself. Okay. So that's a very powerful, um, message that is coming through obviously so life path number one i hope this is helpful for you um i don't know am i missing out on any cards let me quickly pull a couple of this and a couple of that and see if there's any additional um like if some of you are in some kind of thought party or a love triangle what is the message from this deck holy spirit i just need one card no we're not doing that just one I will be picking one. Or maybe we have all your messages out. <laughs> Without needing to drag this long, longer than it should be. Okay. So there's something here about spying. So you're spying on somebody or somebody spying on you. Checking you out online. Um, maybe somebody who is envious or jealous um, energy right here. That somebody's exuding. Um uh, somebody looking to get more information on you, figure out what you're up to. Maybe somebody that you've cut off ties with or somebody that, you, um, that you're um that you no longer with. They're, they're like just spying and see, just checking up on you, seeing what you're up to. All right, Holy Spirit, what else? We need one card. There's something here about not in this lifetime. So there's somebody that um your relationship with them is not going to be in this lifetime because they are still operating in a very low vibe, um, which is not in alignment with your own energy. And it says they are your true, they are your true twin. But but sadly, there is a possibility that you won't end up together in this lifetime due to circumstances outside of your control. So I feel like some of you had questions, which is why um they wanted me to pull you know this additional cards even though i was done with with yours reading life path number one all right i hope this makes sense for you guys um until next time please life path number one stay safe out there and i wish everybody love and light this is healing hands until next time bye bye guys